Get ready to mispronounce this one. Here is Ryan Blaney's 2019 Wabash National Ford Mustang. Howdy, howdy, folks. It is Diecast Buffet here again. Welcome back to another NASCAR Diecast review. Today's car is going to be Ryan Blaney's 2019. Now, forgive me if I pronounce this wrong. Is it Wabash? 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 I think it's Wabash. I don't know. Okay, it's 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 an interesting name. Uh, it's an interesting name. I don't know exactly how to pronounce uh, this, but I'm gonna go with Wabash, 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 Wabash. I think that's correct. I know, a lot of uh, Wabash in here. Uh, I got Tim Penske. Uh, this is the generic white Penske car, right? You got the red scallops. Uh, you got the red number 12 on it. You know, it's a very simple paint scheme. You know, something not too flashy. But, you know, I was very intrigued to review this as it was during the Plan B sales, Black Friday sale. And you know me, I'm, I like to save money. So, picking this up for 5 bucks, not a bad deal at all. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get this Ford Mustang out of the box. Here she is, folks. Brand new, out of the package. Here is Ryan Blaney's 2019 Wabash. I believe that's how you pronounce it. We'll keep going with it. Uh, National uh, Supreme. Not the meme Supreme, of course. Over here on the nose, got Wabash National. Uh, Penzel Ford. I mean, just, uh, you know, very simple. I like, the heaven, I like having the whole United States there. It's really cool how they were able to, uh, to get the, the lower 48 on the hood. Uh, get, you know, representing from good old Texas. Uh, Ford, once again, a little bit of a crinkle there in the Ford logo, unfortunately. Uh, wrap over here to the nose, and oof, this thing looks skewed as all get. Wow. Uh, so you got a terrible right headlight here. The grill is completely off. The Mustang decal is actually kind of centered. Uh, the 12 over here is skewy. I mean, what the heck is this red line here? Uh, looks like a, a wide body kit that just got, you know, pop riveted on. Uh, same for this side. This headlight's got crinkling issues, so a uh, very poor job with the with the nose here. Uh, black splitter. I love that. It looks very sharp. Uh, very nice job for uh, the design, but poor execution on Lionel's part. So you got mechanics work. Lincoln Welder, Sunoco, as usual. You got the Ford Mustang uh, pony there. And, of course, you got uh, the number 12 here. But, man, that nose, well, needs a nose job. Then over here to the left side of the car, you got a little bit of a decal tear underneath the Goodyear logo there. Like how the white Goodyear looks really good. I'm a big believer. Most of the times when you make a design, I, at least from my own perspective, I like to keep it with three colors, right? The primary, the accent, and then the trim. You know, the primary is white, the accent is red, and the trim is black three colors and you could rotate it across the entire car it looks great it looks great you know you know instead of making the Goodyear logo over here yellow and nothing else in the car except for the actual tires be yellow that would look like an eyesore no put white there and it looks looks very sharp so you got NASCAR race car here yeah Ryan Blaney once again no flag no contingencies got the Mustang side inserts and I love that I don't know why but that just looks really good it makes the car feel more three-dimensional it makes the fender wells kind of pop out a little bit uh, number 12, Menards, Ford, I don't know what that middle one is. Not really sure what that logo is underneath the Ford logo. Uh, if you know what that one is, just let me know. Uh, PPG, Mazak, and Wabash, uh, Supreme, Dex Imaging, Menards, uh, Red Trim Line. I like that. Red Trim Line, Red Wheels as well, that always looks good. And nothing over here in the corner panel. A little bit of a brighter green on the American Ethanol ring, ironically enough. And we do see some... Uh, interesting fading around the spoiler i don't know if i like that over here to the caboose you got a very uh poorly wrapped stripe here i mean you got tears and corners just gonna just peel off at this point probably uh very un uh, unfortunate job there um uh, you got the ford mustang license plates kind of got kicked in a little bit you got supreme wabash red spoiler i do dig it just wish it was a little bit sharper on the line and then over here on the right side of the car, you do see some uh, decal rising here. You can see a little bit of the white trim around the fender well. That's that that's a bugger. Um, once again, no contingencies. 12's got a little bit of a chip right here. It might might be a little hard to see, but there is a slight chip there. Um, I know I nitpick a lot, but it's because it's a review. It's supposed to be critiquing it. You know, this isn't just oh let me talk about every good thing and, and always good things. No, it's kind of my job to you know critique these things and pick them apart. 
And then over here to the roof, I mean, just, I love the, the Penske number 12, man. If I could drive the 22, the 2, or the 12, I would probably say 10 times out of 10, I would choose the number 12 because just so much Ryan Newman nostalgia. Uh, maroon number 12 here, perfectly centered, perfectly sized, no roof flap sponsors, beautiful, exactly how a stock car should look. I understand they want to make NASCAR diecast a little bit more maybe a little bit more approachable and the race cars approachable to the newer fans but let's face it when you go to a track you're gonna know who's driving the four car you're, you're gonna know who's driving the nine car you're gonna know who's driving the 22 i just i don't know i mean they put the name above the door for a reason you know what i'm saying i i, I just i've never been a fan of the name banners I'm, I'm probably in the minority in that uh, argument but i just never been a fan of the name banners i like clean windows that's just me uh, nothing on the deck lid. Uh, very clean, you know. I, I figured they'd put at least, you know, the, the, the Wabash or Supreme logo there. I mean, heck, they could even just put Menards. All in all, folks, this is a paint scheme that, once again, it's an alternate. It's an alternate paint scheme. Is it better than the Money Line? Is it better than the Dent Wizard? I think it's better than the Wizard one because I'm, I'm a red type of guy. I like red. That's my favorite color. Is it better than the Money Line? You know, I don't know. I, I Just something about it, man. The maroon red just... It just speaks to me. And you can get the Brad Keselowski version of this. So if you wanted to do the kind of like with the auto trader joints with Keselowski and Logano, well, you could do the, the Wabash, uh, you know, Blaney with the Wabash Brad Keselowski. And I, I apologize if I'm butchering the name. I'm sorry. Look, I, I'm just some I'm just some dude from Texas, okay? I, I, I don't know how to pronounce all this stuff with uh, Princeton University certification. But uh, that's going to be all for this review. Let me know what y'all think about this diecast in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and give the video a thumbs up. I appreciate all those who tune in to my, my videos, my gameplay stuff, my, you know, me talking about metal cars on camera. Um, I love doing this stuff, and I, I just I appreciate everyone who subscribes and watches my content. Hope you're having a great one, folks. Like, comment, and subscribe. Diecast Buffet, signing off.